Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my kitchen. My name is Kanyesa and this is as real as I can be. Um, still doing my best to keep it real for you guys week after week. If you follow me on any of the platforms, you know that I am big on radical self-love. And that's what I want to talk to you about a little bit today. I want to just share with you the ways in which I show myself how I love myself. A lot of the times it's so easy for us to show other people that we love them. I believe that love is a verb. It is an action. For me to show that I love you, there are things that I need to do. And often when we do those things for other people, it feels like it's easier to love them. But when it comes to showing that same level of showing up and showing up for ourselves, it can, it can be a bit difficult because we don't really know what to do. And when I say that doing things for other people is showing them love, I don't mean that in a transactional way. I don't mean that in a way that says, oh, I've done A, B, C, and D for you, so you should be doing it for me. No, for me it is, I've done A, B, C, D for you because I love you. And I don't expect you to do the same for me because that's how I show love. And so part of my journey for self-love has been, okay, Kanisa, if you think that love is an action, it is a doing word, what are some of the things that you need to do for yourself to show yourself that you love yourself, right? That was a lot of yourself. We're gonna take a pause right there. Thank you for watching. Click on the subscribe button so that we keep growing and we keep showing up for ourselves and have real, real conversations. Also share this video, show with your cousins. So I'm just gonna take you through my morning just a little bit. I wake up whenever I wanna wake up, especially now that <laughs> this week has been crazy because I got laid off. So and my partner is not home it's just me and ollie we've just been like rolling out of bed whenever we want to but when i have a routine that i'll be going back into next week because i allowed myself to show compassion to myself this week which is part of self-love for me showing myself compassion and saying you don't feel good right now emotionally. It is okay for you to lay a little bit extra on the bed. It is okay for you to just lay there and cry because you hurt and you feel sad because you received bad news and it's okay to do that. But when I am in routine and I am doing the things that show that I love myself, the first thing I do is wake up and I make coffee, obviously. I need my coffee, I run on coffee, I am still drinking coffee even right now. And then I sit down and I grab my book and I read and I journal. Right now I am reading Think and Grow Rich. It is a thick ass book. Okay, I had to go grab the book. This is what I'm reading right now, Think and Grow Rich. And it is, it's an interesting book about how to connect to wealth and abundance and it's obviously like it's in the title when i told india's grandfather that, that this is what i'm reading he goes well kiddo it's in the title think and grow rich and so that's basically what it's about and right after i finish reading i journal i write about my thoughts how i'm feeling i create a plan for my life whatever comes to mind i do that and then Indy and I, we walk Oliver because Ollie needs to be walked. He's a dog. You gotta walk your dogs. We walk him and then we go to the gym. And at first, when I started working out, right, I was like, I need to work out so I lose weight. And I was weighing myself and I was doing all the things. And now my relationship with the gym has kind of shifted a lot. I lift weights. I don't weigh myself as much. I watch what I eat and not in a way that's like, ah, don't eat that. Don't. I'm like, because I love myself, I need to know what it is that I'm putting in my body. This is my vessel. This is my vessel. Everything that I have been 
able to accomplish has relied on me showing up in my most healthiest, traveling, teaching, work, walking, hiking, every experience that I have had, I have had to use my body. And so, yes, I care. I care about what I put in it. I want to make sure that my food is clean. And also, I want to show you some, like I'm 37 and I'm at that age where I, I have to watch, I have to supplement, I have to add shit to make and myself feel good. And so these are some of the things that I am taking right now. Um, Indy, who is the other mother of the house, um, Ollie's second mom, the love of my life, she, um, she works with this company called First Form, right? So because she works with them, we have a bunch of their products. Like we have a lot of their products um, and I will drop a link for you to shop from using her, it supports us. Thank you very much. And, but my favorite is this one. Uh, where are you? It's also the light one because I use it the most. It's this French toast and I make myself a smoothie. I go to the gym, I come home, I make myself a protein powered smoothie. That, a banana, berries, sometimes I drop an avo in there, a little bit of cinnamon, yum, 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 so good. I might actually make one in a little, I'll make one now while we're talking. Um, I don't think I have bananas. And then in those days where I'm feeling like, oh, and these are fish oils. Y'all, if you are my age, how did this, how did this video end up like, fish oils, get this, good for you. And then I drink some reds to help with my digestive system. I drink my greens. It does the same. They work powerfully together. Microfactors. It's just like um, multivitamins. We have them in pill form and they also have them in uh, powder form. It's just drink it like it's tea. Why am I showing you all of this? Why is it? Why did I think, let me tell them what I do. Oh, and, and I self pleasure. <laughs> yes, I self pleasure. And I'm going to show you. Uh, I spoke about this last week and it's so funny before I did the video last week, you can go back and watch it. I showed you uh, the tour company that I use, Bush, and they came out with a new product. Boom, I went and I got it. It's beautiful. If you are into penetrative, clitoral stimulation, this is for you. Here we go. Lovely. I like pretty things. So yeah. Um, the reason I'm showing you this is because a lot of the times when we talk about self-love, it almost as if we equate it to self-care, right? I'm going to go to the spa. I'm going to, and this is like a once a month thing. I'm going to do, do whatever. But what I'm concerned about is what are the daily habits? What are the constant discipline things that we do to show ourselves that we love ourselves for me it is this it is going to the gym when i don't fucking want to it is eating healthy when i just know i would rather be eating burgers all week but i know that's not good for me it's not good for me i don't care what you say you want to eat big burgers all day every day do that you know why you're doing it but for me to make sure that I am loving on myself, I'm gonna have it once a week or so, or every other week. I don't know how many times we fucking eat burgers. And we cook a lot, we cook a lot. And so my call out to you is, how do you love yourself? How do you show yourself that you love yourself? What are the things that you do that make you go, ah, I'm gonna do this, for no other reason but for that I love myself I love myself so much that this is how I'm going to choose to show up today and tomorrow and the next day and the best challenge the best way of testing self-love is to do this shit when you don't feel like doing it those days where you're like fuck it no that that is when you go no I know mentally I don't want to but in here, I know that this is something that I have to do because I love myself. 
So put it in the comments. What are some of the things that you do to show yourself that you love yourself? And remember to follow, like, share, tell your cousins, because these conversations are what's going to help us learn and they are what's going to help us grow. Have a fantastic week. Mwah.